about that. Well, we may be about to find out, Anne-Marie. They do have the votes, uh, if you're looking at your screen here, the votes to pass the standalone Israel aid bill. So the new Speaker of the House has a win on the board. But what happens next? You were a creature of the Senate. Uh, John, is is the Senate going to step up here and jam the House now? I have a feeling that that's the direction we're headed right now, which is um, discouraging, if nothing else, for people who need badly. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakah Hakwadash. Double honor to the elders of the Great Millstone who told me this truth. Fourteen billion. <laughs> the House just passed fourteen billion for the aid of Israel. Let that sink into your mind. Now well, you got America soaking in debt, school loan, the borders open. You had a food crisis, migrants running all over the place. They just seized the uh, purchasing of ammunition for, for all you Second Amendment lovers, right? The school system is depleted. The roads are cracked. The tunnels gone, bridges collapsing, <laughs> you know? And they just came out their pocket with a fictitious 14 billion Israel A package. Forget about the, the 100 billion something dollars they just gave to Ukraine, including weapons. And this is for all you high class Americans, leave it to beaver ass Americans who still trying to hold on to the dream that America's going to pull himself up by the bootstrap. Look at what's going on. Now they got to continue to fund Ukraine. And now Israel, 14 billion these resources. I would say when it comes to these vital investments in the security of our international allies, as well as the, uh, the security to address the mess on our southern border right now, um, more is good. So it, packaging these together, doing them as standalone pieces of legislation, it's up to our party leaders, and that's kind of why they get the big bucks yeah. here. Um, they need to come together and figure out the best path forward on all of these pieces. We so go. we just have the full vote. We just have the full vote. They said it's passed 226 yep. to 196. And John, I have to ask you, 10 Democrats voted for this. The House will come. Is that going to be order. politically challenging for them? This rescinds that IRS money that was a key part of Biden's inflation reduction plan. Yeah, well, look, uh, based on my professional experience, Hold I can say honestly, the party is Big Ten. We have a variety and a diversity of opinions as it comes to fiscal matters. I would say, look, this is probably more an expression that aid needs to get to Israel. And that's probably what we'll see a lot of these Democrats saying, uh, no matter what the sort of pay for or lack of pay fors are in that legislation. Um, at the same time, I have to say, it, again, and if we're going to have a conversation about fiscal restraint or fiscal responsibility in the federal government, I would prefer that pay for not be something that actually adds to the deficit. Um, I think that will probably be the harder messaging challenge on this on the part of the Republicans. Steve Scalise is dealing with some scheduling matters so Babylon, here on the floor. If you're just joining hey, us, by the this way, this is, um, you know, I follow this. This is uh, Bloomberg Television. Babylon is done. You know, let me just get one scripture and I'm going to close it. You can go over there, Bloomberg Television, subscribe, you know, they keep you up. You know, the financial uh, aspect of this kingdom falling. But Babylon is done, man. You know? Babylon is done. This is, um, this is, uh, Jeremiah, right, 51. Jeremiah 51. And, and uh, eight, I'm going to start from. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Notice how the Lord speaks about Babylon in the past tense. Because this is already done. That's the beauty about prophecy. Take bomb, right? And bomb is supposed to be like a healing agent. Something you wrap around a wound so it can heal. So the Lord said, take balm for her pain. If so, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not ill. I mean, none of that balm, <laughs> there's 14 billion, nothing that you're going to do is going to work. Forsake her. I mean, hey, give it up. It's a cold red. Let 
and let us go everyone into his own country, meaning get out of here, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lift up even to the skies. And that's what a lot of people are going to be finding out. Congressmen, you're saying, the other nations, they're going to be scattering out this place real soon, man. But hey, 14 billion, 14 billion. Shalom.